guys, I'm Ricky Aragwin, and on today's episode of Cooking with Ricky, I'll be showing you how to make Oreo cupcakes. And my friend tagged me on Instagram saying that I should make these, and it was way back when he told me. So, without further ado, Oreo cupcakes. For the ingredients, you'll be needing sugar, unsweetened cocoa, make sure it's unsweetened because you will be adding the sugar, flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, milk, hot water, two eggs, oil, I'm using vegetable, and vanilla extract. Okay, so you're gonna preheat your oven to 350, and then you're gonna get a muffin tray, and you're gonna get um, 12 baking cups, and you're gonna get a whole Oreo, and it'll act as the base. So you're gonna set that aside, and you're gonna get your dry ingredients, just give them a mix. Then you're gonna add your eggs, Then you're going to add your oil. Your milk, water, and vanilla extract. Okay, so once you've uh, mixed it well, got my ice cream scoop, I'm going to fill them up. About three quarters of the way up, maybe a bit less than that. Okay, so this, this will make 24 cupcakes total. So make sure you have two muffin trays and 24 cu baking cups and make sure you do have enough Oreos. Um, and you're going to bake these for about 16 to 18 minutes or until you get a toothpick and turn the middle. If it comes out clean and it's done. So While they're baking, we dance. <laughs> So while they're actually baking, we're gonna get our frosting. I, sh I bought a one that's already made so to save some time. And I crushed up some Oreos. And we're gonna mix that up. I'm just gonna get my spatula. All right, so you get your frosting. Put all of it in there. They're done. Okay, so once you get them out of the oven, let them cool or else the frosting will melt. So you get your frosting and then your crushed up Oreos. I'm gonna mix that up. So this is how they came out. Um, the Oreos did pop up in the center, but that's okay, you're gonna cover that up. Uh, as much as I really want to eat one right now, I'm gonna need a wait because it's still hot. But in the meantime, you're gonna get your frosting and you put it in a disposable piping bag or a, a Ziploc bag like I'm doing. And I'm gonna refrigerate the icing for about five minutes. Okay, so they cool completely. I'll be I'll be only piping four because I don't wanna make this video too long. But I got my piping bag or disposable Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna cut up a small end. And I really need to practice on my piping skills. So don't judge if I mess up. So, see. It 
was a piece of cookie stuck on the hole, so that's why I stopped. <sighs> Got it. Okay, so I'm already done piping. This is how they came out. Um, I already ate one. They come out super delicious. Um, but overall, I, I think I did pretty good on my piping. I need to uh, buy piping tips. That's what I need. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Um, please like my Facebook page. It'll, everything will be down in the link, in the link description below. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave that in the comment box, and see you next time.